Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on ETABS. In this lecture, I will show you how to apply wind load in ETABS. So in ETABS, there are two methods to apply the wind load. In this lecture, I will show you the most easiest way to apply it. Just be with me till the end. First of all, go to define menu and then click on load patterns option. So here you can see that ETABS has by default defined dead and live loads for us and we have already applied the dead and live loads on our building. Now let's define wind load. First of all give the name of load as wind x plus. The type of load will be wind and in the auto lateral load option select the respective code. So here we are going to use IS 875 part 3 2015 and click on add new load. Similarly, define one more load that is wind y plus. Again the type of load will be wind and the code will be same. Click on add new load. So here we are going to define only two wind loads that is wind x plus and wind y plus. Now you might be wondering that instead we defined four wind loads that is wind x plus, y plus, x minus and y minus as well. But in ETABS what we are going to do is that in the load combination we are going to have an additional load combination with a negative sign. So that will take care of the wind load in the negative directions as well. Now click on OK. In order to apply the wind load first of all we will assign diaphragms to all our slabs. So first of all click on 3D view, right click anywhere in the white screen and click on show all objects. Now in order to assign the diaphragm to all our slabs let's first define the diaphragm. So go to define menu and then click on diaphragm. So here you can see that ETABS has defined a default diaphragm D1. So select that and click on modify show diaphragm option. So here the diaphragm that is considered by ETABS is rigid. So we also want a rigid diaphragm. So why we are assigning diaphragm to all the slabs? Because whenever we will assign diaphragm to all the slabs then all the nodes will be behaving monolithically when any lateral load that is wind or earthquake load is applied on this building. So this is the reason we are assigning diaphragm to, to this building. So we have defined the diaphragm let's assign this. So first of all select all the slabs go to select click on object type then click on floors and then click on select. So you can see that all the slabs have been selected. Deselect all the mid landing slabs and the landing slabs since we do not want to assign the diaphragm to these slabs. Ok. So now with all the slabs selected you can go to assign then hover onto shell and then click on diaphragm. Select the diaphragm D1 that we have defined. Click on apply and then click on OK. So here you can see that all the nodes of the respective slab have been connected to a node. This node is called as the master slave node. So whenever wind load will be applied on this building then all the nodes will be behaving monolithically. Instead also we assign master slave node to all the slabs. You can watch my previous video on STAD Pro in the playlist. Now go to define menu and then click on load patterns option. Select wind x plus from the list and click on this modify lateral load option. 
So here we are going to use the first method that is exposure from the extent of diaphragm. The second me method is the exposure from the shell objects. In this method we need to first of all add the massless walls to our structure and then we need to assign the wind load on those massless walls. So that method is a little bit tedious so we are going to use the first method. In the wind exposure and parameters the windward coefficient Cp will be 0.8 and the leeward coefficient will be 0.5 as per the code. In wind direction and exposure width click on the modify show button. Here give the direction angle as 0 degree for applying the wind in the positive x direction. Click on OK. Now coming to the wind coefficients. So first wind coefficient is the wind speed. So open the code. So as per IS 875 part 3 2015 as per annexure A our building is situated in Ahmedabad. So for Ahmedabad the basic wind speed is 39 meter per second. So input 39 in ETEVS. Now coming to the terrain category. So as per the code there are three different terrain categories. First is the category 1 in which there is exposed open terrain with few or no obstructions. Then there is one more category that is category 2 which says open terrain with well scattered obstructions and a third category in which there are numerously closely spaced obstructions and the size of those obstructions is up to 10 meter in height with or without a few isolated tall structures. So in our case since our building is surrounded by numerously closely spaced obstructions so we will select category 3 in ETEVS. Importance factor will be 1. Now coming to the risk coefficient or the K1 factor. So the risk factor is given as per clause 6.3.1 of the code. So as per this clause first of all we need to assume the design life of structure. So let's say we are designing this building for 50 years and the wind speed of this city is 39 meter per second okay and our building is also falling under the first category that is all general buildings and structures so for this category and for a design life of 50 years and corresponding to wind speed of 39 meter per second k1 value is 1 so input 1 now coming to the topography or the k3 factor so as per the code, K3 factor is given as per clause 6.3.3. So as per this clause, since our building is not situated in hilly area, we can consider the value of K3 as 1. So again input K3 as 1. Coming to the exposure height for top story, it will be story 10 and the bottom story will be story 1. So since the wind load will be acting only above ground level so the bottom story will be story 1 so wind load will be acting from story 1 to story 10 click on ok now select wind y plus and click on modify lateral load again we are we will be using exposure from the extent of diaphragm in the wind direction and exposure width click on modify show button this time will be inputting 90 degree. Click on OK. Windward and leeward coefficient will be 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 and the wind speed will be 39 meter per second. Terrain category is 3. These all coefficients are 1 and the bottom story is story 1. Top story will be story 10. OK. Click on OK and again click on OK. Now if you again go to define menu and then click on load patterns option and if you select wind x plus click on modify load once and then click on modify later load. Now if you go to this modify show option 
you can see that it has us automatically generated a table so in this table you can see x and y coordinate based on the diaphragm that we have assigned so instead what we do we provide maximum x y and z coordinate for applying the wind load and minimum x y and z coordinate to apply the wind load however in e tabs you do not have to do anything e tabs is automatically generating these coordinate values based on the diaphragm that we have assigned so for applying the wind load e tabs is very smart and this method is very easy to apply the wind load click on okay and again click on okay you can also see the coordinate values in wind y plus also so select wind y plus just click on modify load once and then go to modify later load and then click on modify show button so the table is not getting showed let's again click on modify load and then click on modify later load and if you again go to modify show now the tab is showing the coordinate values of the respective stories so this is we have just click on modify load just to show just i wanted to show these values to you the x and the y coordinate if you don't even click on modify load then also it's fine i just wanted to show you so that's why we i clicked on modify load and then click on modify later load to show these values to you so click on okay so guys this is how you will apply wind load in the most easiest way so if you like this content please do subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends so all the students get most of the benefit thanks for watching bye for now